Send us down! Like now! Quickly! Oh! Welcome to Fallout 4. My name is Colton. I'll be your guide. Before we get started, I need to let you know that I do, in fact, hoard bottle caps. Once again, do not be too harsh with me, please. But yes, it is true. I have never played Fallout 4. Now, there is a caveat to this. The caveat is that I grew up playing Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like hours upon hours on Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. As well as when Fallout 4 originally came out, I was a poor kid and, and didn't have any money to buy it. But I did watch people walk through and play it. So I vaguely, whatever, however, however old this game is, what, 10, 15 years old? I don't know. But I vaguely remember some parts of it. And I am very familiar with the fallout ecosystem because i played fallout 3 and fallout new vegas so many times so while i've never played fallout 4 i do actually know quite a bit about this game but i've never played it and that's what we're doing now so sit back and get your and you get to budget you relive your memories through me with me watching me experience my memories for the first time all right let's do it start a new game yes i also fallout 3 and fallout new vegas when i played it was on xbox so I actually don't know Fallout on the PC. So it's going to be a learning experience for, for me. Big, big learning experience. So thank you for sticking with me. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Ooh. Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. What a feisty lady. Holy crap, that intro scene was epic. That was amazing. That Fallout has always had like a good story premise behind. It. I mean, that's kind of the whole thing, right? But that was cool. That was awesome. All right, here we are doing the face editor, which is in... Oh, okay. Whoa, look at that. 
this is a big step up off of i also played a lot of skyrim so i'm you know obviously familiar with all that stuff and this is cool is this the last bethesda game to come out so like re real bethesda game to come out because i can imagine the next one's gonna be amazing this is really cool with all that said though i'm not really one that does face customization stuff so we're just gonna we're just gonna say that we're good because we're good we look good we look handsome man got a beautiful wife and apparently a child oh yeah don't look down don't look down nope oh, oh. don't look down nope, 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 nope. hello nora hey, hmm, just getting ready i'm hurrying up don't worry fine lady a nice shower very nice man this is amazing I'm so excited. I have literally not played a, a Fallout game, oh my gosh, in years. I mean, it has been probably, what, six years? I think I was still in high school, maybe. So what, 10 years? There's no way it's been 10 I guess, it, yeah, it's been about 10 years. Wow. Holy crap, we have a... Good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, sir. Room temperature is 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Room 2 Perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Hello, Codsworth. Nice to meet you. How are you not burning my floor? Uh, hey, Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Well, thank you. Once again, I don't know how you're not burning my floor, but, uh, ooh, can we take? Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Nice. Looks like the milk got delivered. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Oh. Rated A. Plus. A. Plus. Better, better close all that. You got the baby bot. Uh oh. Oh, the baby! It's my baby. I will attend to my baby. I am the daddy. I am good with Sean. Hello, Sean. Oh, the baby. Ah, oh, the baby. Yeah, you, yeah, you got that right. Cause you're a robot. Oh, you're special. Sean will grow up to be. Yeah, we don't know what Jean will grow to be. All right, um, chair sit. So uh, this is too nice. Is this? Has the war not? Hey, Godworth, I'm talking here, bud. All right, thank you. Blast radius. That, that sounds like a fun game. So has the bombs not blown up yet? Oh, what'd you say, Nora? Sorry, I was... Uh, uh, hold on. Nice fireplace. Can I do anything with the TV? Nice. Alright. Can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. Come on, just answer the door. <laughs> Fine, you're good. You're lucky that you're beautiful and smart. I'll answer the door. Why? Good morning. Voltec calling. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Be polite. I'm not a jerk. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency. I assure you. Uh, urgency. What you so mean? Important. Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Um, a precious commodity... I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. So the bombs have not kicked off, which is unusual. I don't know if we've ever actually seen that before in any Fallout, or at least I don't remember ever seeing that in any Fallout game. Also, uh, are we rich? Like, if the country's in disrepair... We seem to be doing okay. Also, has the main character... Are you feeling all right, sir? I am talking. Hold on, you. Has the main character ever actually spoke in Fallout? Like, we do dialogue, but, uh, you know, 
Had they have we ever spoke before? Anyways, we gotta get this thing going. So uh oh down arrows or okay. Cool. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Can do, Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, all right. We're going to call ourselves Colt. Uh, let's see. We have 21 points. How do we... Oh, no, no. We're good. We're good with that. We're... Ah, here we go. All right, so name is Colt. So we have 21 points, so we should probably give ourselves one for everything. And then maybe see what else we have. How many? Okay. So now we have seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can go one more at everything, or should we increase more? I don't remember, because it's been so long. Uh, I know strength is useful. Perception, charisma. Uh, do I just want to be well-rounded, though? Hmm. Hmm. Since this isn't my second playthrough, and I genuinely have no idea what I'm going to encounter in this game, or, like, what's important. Because every Fallout game, you have so many different ways to play it, but there's always one style that's, like, Kind of the best since i don't know what that is for this game i'm just going to be well-rounded and it gives me the most flexibility in the future wonderful that's everything uh just gonna walk this over to the vault congratulations on being prepared for the future um thanks again what do you know hey, that you're not mine that's worth a little paperwork right for you and sean no price is too high <laughs> good answer i have my moments Man, we are a ladies man. We are a late man. has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. I love you. Alright, baby, here comes daddy. Uh I was saying something and I don't remember what I Oh what that guy knows something that he's not telling us. All right, here, Sean. Don't worry, baby boy. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Oh, stop he it. Loves me a little bit. He loves that. Anything you say, Mommy. Oh, hey, yeah. How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Watch TV instead, sarcastic, and do what? Man, I, I love this woman. Why would I yeah, be mean to her? Sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Uh oh. Codsworth, what's wrong? Uh oh. Can't sprint. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. Oh, no. We do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Ah. Uh, we, we need to get to the vault. Oh boy. Oh, it's happening. Don't loot. There's no time to loot. Codsworth, look after the house, Codsworth. Move out of the way! That's my woman coming through with a baby! I hope- is this the- oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, this way. Come on, Nora. Move your ass, lady. I'm- I'm sorry, Nora, that was mean. I'm just scared. I'm just really scared, okay? Let's go, baby. Let's go. Leave the suitcase, dude! It's not worth it! It's not worth it! Come on, Nora! Come on, Nora! My beautiful woman! You're- thank you! Alright. Nora, we're almost there, sweetheart. We are almost, I am out of stamina. I am a weak boy, but, uh, excuse me. Uh, yes, we are. Infant, adult male, adult female. Oh, thank you. I must be a high level officer or rich or something. Come on, Nora. Sweetie. Sweetie. It's, it's like time to run. Come on, sweetie. I think bombs are going to be exploding. Come on, sweetie. Honey! Honey boo boo! My baby girl and my baby boy! Oh, we made it. We're good! So I must be a high-level officer or something. 
I love you. Both of you. We love you too. I love you. Oh! Yes, send us down! Like now! Quickly! Oh boy! I should have probably crouched, but I don't know how to crouch. 